Hiya from Nebraska, y'all. It's Square Peg with a trippy rabbit hole I fell down the other day. I want to share with you. I've been following Matt from Quantum of Conscience for several years now. And it was a couple of years ago that he gave me the notion that pretty much anything you think of that you want to search for information about or, you know, prove if it's true or not, if you keep searching for information, the internet world will just keep providing you evidence that you're right. So at this point, I don't even know how many theories there are floating around about what the shape of the earth is. Flat, crater, round, mm, gosh, hollow, right? There's a one that says that when we look at the moon, we're actually seeing a reflection of the Earth, and they've picked out the continents and whatnot. You know, you've probably seen that. I think you could just pick anything. You could pick anything you wanted under the sun, and you want to prove that you're right, start Googling it, and it, the information will be provided for you. The people at CERN keep looking for smaller particles, right? And they keep finding them. I think they're only finding them because they're looking for them. They don't exist until they're sought, right? It's the observer effect or something like that. So I don't know if the things that I found are just because I was alert to the Georgia thing and so it was just providing me Georgia stuff <laughs> or these things were real and I just happened to, upon them, you know? I really don't know what's going on here, but some of them are really funny. So follow me on this rabbit trail if you would like to. Okay, so I just did that video about 1980 and the connection to this year. So what I wanted to do is do a 1979 and next year connections video. So I started looking up information from 1979 and lo and behold, in one month in 1979, there were three references to Georgia. So the first one was April 24th. Well, that wasn't the first one that happened, but first one on my list, right? Georgia On My Mind by Ray Charles was declared the state song of Georgia. He sang the song, the, George, or the governor gave a speech, and it was a big to-do, April 24th, 1979. Now, just days before, The Devil Went Down to Georgia by the Charlie Daniels Band was released on April 20th and also on April 20th and this one I I don't know did this really happen because it sounds totally out of this world Jimmy Carter was attacked by a killer swamp rabbit while fishing in his home state of Georgia on April 20th 1979 <laughs> okay I think the killer part was a joke based on the Monty Python movie that I love the Holy Grail the killer rabbit so I think that was kind of like tongue-in-cheek of a joke, but I think there there might actually be something called a swamp rabbit. They showed a picture of Jimmy Carter in his boat with a, I guess he like splashed the water with his paddle to chase this killer rabbit away. And they have a little white blur, you know, you can barely tell what it is in the picture of a rabbit swimming away from the boat, you know. So I would love to know, anybody from down south, is there a swamp rabbit? And uh, do you think one of them really, like, attacked the president back in April of 79? I'd love to hear about it. So the next day, another f channel that I followed for a long time, um, Uncanny Deduction, shared a link to Theology Ed's decode video that he had just put up recently of Candyman, the movie. I was watching it kind of as background because not really interested in Candyman all that much or, you know, the topic that he was discussing. But something caught my attention to 14 minutes in approximately and I had to run over and pause it and back it up because I was like, did I really hear that? So remember, this is just uh, a couple days after the Georgia um, monument was toppled. He had quoted an article from from 2020 that read the headline read armed black militia challenges white nationalist at georgia's stone mountain park i couldn't believe it this is just days later so this headline that says georgia's stone mountain park that happened in july of 2020 
Theology Ed posted that video to his channel July 5th of 2022, and then the very next day was the day that the Georgia Monument was booped. Wow, that's kind of crazy, right? And when I mentioned this in a comment on Theology Ed's uh, video there, he replied with a chuckle and a just coincidence. I'm like, right, that's coincidence, of course, right? <laughs> now, I'm getting ready to make this video here. This is not the end of the rabbit trail, by the way. This is a side, uh, side journey. As I was looking over these notes to make this video, I noticed that 2020 and 2022 are straddling 2021 by one year on either side, right? Jason and I had exchanged that email just uh, maybe a week earlier where I suggested 2001 might be an isometric epicenter and he suggested that 2020 or 2021 might be. But it was too soon, there wasn't enough data. I suggest that we do now have some data because I can't imagine that the Georgia Monument being demolished in July of 2022 and this headline from 2020 Georgia's Stone Mountain Park, that these things are not related. That, that's crazy, right? So either side by one year of 2021 as a potential new isometric epicenter date. Wow, that's cool, right? So let's go back to my journey from the other day because this is really funny. So I had the idea of the song, that's the night that the lights went out in Georgia. I used to love that song when I was a kid. It was Vicki Lawrence. It was written by her husband and actually was written, sung, recorded, and released in 1972. But it wasn't until that she released it at, on her album of the same name one year later. So it was actually April 21st of 1973. So we're back to that one week of April that we talked about before in 79. This is April of 73 that that song was released on her album, and it ended up going to number one that year. So, 1973 connects to 2023, just like 1979 does, but this, this would be using the 1998 isometric epicenter date. So now we're, we're starting to load these up, right? We've got April of 73 we have april of 79 the georgia monument went up sometime in 1980 and then we have july of 2020 and july of 2022 this is interesting right so then i thought well gosh there was a song that i liked it was a country song back in the 90s and i didn't remember who sang it but it was um I'll start working your way, you start walking mine, and we'll meet in the middle, meet that old Georgia Pine. Right, so the only thing I could remember was Georgia Pines, right? So I typed in Georgia Pines, and I, I didn't find that song right away. But the very first thing that came up was a song that I'd never heard of called Georgia Pines. It was actually from, it was written in 1965. But that wasn't even the top one that was on there listed on the website that you know popped up with all my search results. The first one that was listed was a cover that was done by, get ready for it, the Candy Men. The Candy Men, really? So that brings me back to Theology's Ed video about uh, Candy Man. I mean, come on, really? I think it's just feeding us what we're looking for. But on the other hand, some of these things actually happened, you know? I'm gonna say some of these things definitely did actually happen. Possibly not all of them though, right? And this right here is one of the reasons that I value archaics research so highly because I'm dubious now. I'm, I'm a dubious of everything that I've ever seen on or through or via the screen and I usually when I'm typing I'll type that in capitals the screen it's an entity it's a thing right which I AIX sure yeah I suppose yeah right it will just feed you what you're looking for and it doesn't necessarily matter if it's true or not whereas uh, all of our cakes research has been done without the screen without using modern redacted, um, altered and changed encyclopedias or documents and stuff. 
And I, I think that's highly valuable uh, research, not influenced by the screen. Anyway, I really enjoyed this uh, trip down the rabbit hole. Every time I went to do something else, it was more and more things. And like I said, just getting ready just now to do this video, I discovered something else. So really cool stuff. I am having a lot of fun and I hope you are too. Have a great day.